Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and today we're going to make a chlorine producing unit. You can tell by the picture that almost everything you need you can get at a local hardware store or auto parts store, with the exception of the Viton gaskets and mixed metal oxide electrodes. But if you follow the links below, you can find where you can get that for about 50 bucks. Everything else you could probably get for under 20 bucks. So let's see how we make it. First thing you're going to want to do is take an 8 inch drill bit and drill a hole in the center of the end cap. Um, you can't see it here, but after you've done that, you need to countersink that hole to make it smooth and uh, uh, triangular so the water flows out easier. Then you need to cut two 3 quarter inch slots that are an eighth of an inch offset, an eighth of an inch apart for the electrodes. You want to cut a strip of PVC pipe, press that down into the end cap so that when you put in the first gasket and the first electrode, it'll fit about the middle of that slot. Then when you put the next gasket and the next electrode in, everything will fit in tight. You should make sure everything fits before you glue it because this needs to be waterproof. Here's the meat and potatoes of the uh, device. You want to put your Viton gasket on your PVC shim, then use the darker electrode and lay in there. You want to hold that by its sides, both electrodes, because the oil on your skin can corrode that um, uh, coating. Then put in another gasket, your another electron, and then your other gasket on the top. You want to make sure that the uh, ends of that electrode come out far enough so that you can attach your leads. And this stuff is very fragile, so don't um, scratch that coating or your uh, uh, electrolysis device is not going to work. Now take your piece of clear plastic PVC pipe and push down into that gasket and glue it. You want to get it pretty tight so that everything fits. You can also get this from the same place as uh, we've got the electrodes from. Now glue in your 2 inch to 3 inch PVC reducer and then uh, you need some sort of screen to keep debris from scratching your electrodes. I used a little uh, plumber's uh, vent cap thing but the original design used a piece of titanium mesh. Get some plumber's goop and fill in the slots. You want to make sure that you pack it in good to uh, ensure there's no leaks. Now set that aside and let that dry for 24 hours. And while you're waiting, you can make the leads. You want to solder some 12 gauge wire to 30 amp test leads. Make sure it's pretty solid. I use three foot of uh, wire so I'd have enough room to hit my batteries. You want to make sure that you file off the uh, oxide coating on your electrodes so you get a good connection. Uh, if you don't want to solder it, alternatively you could put some ring clamps, uh, terminal clamps on and then bolt it to the leads. One way or the other, you want to make sure that you've got a good solid connection so it doesn't arc. And because of that, we're going to uh, uh, put on some uh, wire wrap, you know, and heat it so that it shrinks on there, and then uh, make sure that we put a whole lot of plumber's goop on there because we don't want it to arc out. Once you have your leads connected, you want to bend your terminals down and then zip tie the leads to your chlorine producing unit to make it more sturdy. All right, your last step is to cut a piece of two inch PVC and glue it to the side of your CPU in order to protect those leads. Uh, once that dries, you want to fill in that gap with plumber's goop in order to make sure that it doesn't arc, it doesn't leak, and to protect those leads even more.
See you bubbling? Mm-hmm. And you just do that five times. And if you were standing over here, you would smell the chlorine. I mean, it ain't bad. It's like that in a pool. What's happening is the electricity running through those two titanium plates is stripping the ions off of the salt and taking the sodium out so it's just chlorine the water. Mm -hmm. It's called electrolysis and they use it for all sorts of stuff nowadays in chemistry. After about five times or so, there's no more salt in the water. Is the fourth one now. I've got a plan fits my point of view. I'm getting ready to have Like no other